Ked Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today I'm going to do a seascape, a simple seascape, but very effective seascape. And in this series I'll be doing several of them. Um, I have a beautiful letter here from a 10 year old fan of mine and I'd like to read it out. It's from Aoife Bartley and from Anna in Beltorbet in County Cavan. I am 10 years of age. I live on a farm with my grandparents most of the time. I had two ponies, Polly and Lisa. Polly was my first pony and she died of old age. I'm very sorry to hear that. I draw a picture of her. I love art. I'm always drawing pictures and when I found out about the Irish art show I started watching it and I think it's a great show. There's a PS here and we live along a beautiful lake. You should come over sometime and paint a picture of it. And it's lots of love from Aoife Bartley. And I want to sincerely thank uh, you for this uh, beautiful letter. And I'd like you to show uh, a lovely sketch of the, the pony. And we have lots and lots of fans now from schools all over Ireland and young fans even from young children that are not even going to school. And I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you for looking in with your parents and your grandparents onto our show of Irish Paint Magic. So before I go any further, I want you to come right up here onto the canvas and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Again, I have my 24 by 18 canvas and I cannot stress enough that you don't have to have that size at home. You can use any size you wish. But this is a change now and this time I'm going to cover the whole canvas with liquid clear, the white canvas. So, but I'm going to do it very, very sparingly. Very sparingly. If I'm not too sure about how much of that I put on, what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of paper tissue here. Just a little bit. And I just gently go over it just in case there may be a surplus on. That's my insurance. Now, that will take off any surplus, especially the top. I'm not worried about the bottom. Not too worried about down there. But up here I am. I just need a bare essential. So I need a dark sky now. Today we're going to do a dark sky, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of black on the brush, on the brush. And I'm going to go in with the black. Now if you look at the black, I know people are giving out that fella shouldn't be using black on its own. But if you look at the black, it's, um, there's a lot of blue in it, and if you look at it closely, you'll see that there's crimson in it. It's a special formula black. And if you want to know about that black, it's very, very suitable for Ireland. Really very suitable for Ireland, especially for clouds and everything in Ireland. You'll get it on the probe. You'll get your information on the probe. And don't be fooled about other people telling you. And you, the other thing I'm going to say is, um, is the mediums. A lot of people have been taught in shops now, you mix this and you mix that and you'll get the same as the medium. You can't do it. If you could, I'd have done it years ago myself. It just cannot do that. It doesn't work. So go and buy the proper medium. It'll do you for the whole year, for a couple of euros. And maybe the post. They'll post it out here if you want. Now, that's a quite a dark sky. I don't want any, any serious sky here. I'm just going to lighten it a little bit there now with white. Just white. And I'm going to work that up a little bit. Just a little bit. And that's turning grey now. That's the kind of sky I want, okay? Nice and soft. And now I'm going to level off. Now my horizon, always think of the horizon. I'm going to have it pretty high today, up here. Now don't ever divide the canvas in half. I either go above it or below it. If you go above the halfway point, you'll have a smaller sky. And if you go below it, you'll have a bigger sky. It's up to yourself. So I'm going to get a bit of phthalo blue and black and I'm going to create a dark area. Be careful now because that, that has actually gone a bit blue on me now. I didn't intend to do that but doctors differ and patients die and sometimes we don't get everything right. So. If I'm not sure, I get myself a tissue and ask it, please come off for me. Thank you very much. 
because the old director of programs is already making faces. And he's tough. And he's giving out to the cameraman and the camera ladies. Now, there you go. Back down again. Now, that softened that whole color there a bit for me. I'm going to go a little bit to the green side, so I'm going to pick up some on the brush, sap green, and mix it with that. Now, there's the sap green into the blue, and I'm going to let that run down here. More blue down there. So it's a bluey, bluey green color. A lot of people from schools, as I said, and, and that type of thing. And all the kids, and I'm from Mallow in County Cork. A lot of kids down there are watching the program. And all the schools, St. Patrick's and St. Mary's and Skull Gobnerton, Davis College, and Gale Skull, all watching the program. And I'm very, very proud of that. Very proud. And all the people in the studios here are very happy with that response. Now, there you go. And now I'm going to come along here again, just varying the colors right down here. Going to just a little bit of yellow ochre there and see what'll happen. Maybe a little bit in there. And again, the water could come back in there again, behind it. Just paint it as though you're painting the door at home. The front door, the back door. These one doesn't matter. Blue, green. Here again. And that's the whole lot now. That's all I want. So I'm going to get my knife and some titanium white there, put it out flat. Put it out flat there. And I'm going to get some, some uh, highlights way out here in the distance. Long way out now, long way out. Just like that, like that. All these strokes now are, um, are horizontal. They're in line with the, uh, with the horizon outside. And I, all I want to do now is create the illusion that there's surf breaking outside. No detail, no detail. I'm going to show you the roll of paint here now. Pull it out flat, scrape it off, and that little roll of paint there on the back of the knife. But when you come up to the canvas, make sure that the, ca that the roll of paint is turned down. So I'm going to come up. And there it's turned down now. And then again. A lot of this now will be covered up again later, but I need to get some of it in now. All right. And as you come closer, you can get a little bit bolder. Just a little bit bolder. A lot of bold people around the studio today are giving out to me about history and everything. They tell me that get your facts right. <laughs> but we don't fall out. Now, some of this I want to pull down. I just get you getting the, uh, just catching the, the, the fan brush, some of that. I want those waves to break a little bit out now. No detail at the moment. And as I said, some of this will be covered up again. Just get some of them to break outside and talk to the wave, attach the wave to come on, break there for me, please. Thank you. That's lovely. Just get a little bit of movement in the water. And here, and here. Now I have given lots of demonstrations in schools and that to young students and they helped me. As a matter of fact, shortly now will be the Gale Skull in Mallow. I'll be with those people and we, we will paint a little painting together ourselves with the students. So it won't be just my painting, it will be everybody's painting.
just pull over the wave just pull it over it won't be all breaking at the one time now it will come in and roll in and we don't want it we want this wave to crash as well now and I'll do that in a moment okay so what I'm going to do now is mix some paint let me have a look at this okay so I'm going to mix some paint and I want you the cameras to come up here please there's a white now I don't want it to be white all white so I'm going to make it a little bit of yellow ochre into it okay white and yellow ochre and it's amazing how even though that's not white that's kind of a creamy color it's amazing how it will stand out when you hit the um, hit the canvas with it now that's a creamy color nice ah, you could you could eat that it's lovely you could lick it in the summer it's beautiful like milk that's lovely hmm that's like Paul the director of programs you could you could eat him <laughs> what way I don't know but anyway I'm going to go down into that color now down into I think I'll put a bit of I think I'll put a small bit of blue black into that just to tone it down tone it down I'm going to have a look now I might put black into it altogether but I'm going to have, there's a fan brush now that's a number six fan brush number six okay so come on up here and I'm going to go Make the noises. Very important you make the noise. And here. I'm wiping the brush when I come off because uh, on a tissue. Because otherwise I'll be bringing the dirt down. And I don't want that. I'm just wiping the, the dirt off of the, off the brush when I come off the canvas because it picks up the blue that's in underneath. And... Uh, so you'd want to watch that. Now, and down, and down there. That's great. Sure, that's fine. Wipe the old brush again. And if I maybe go over here a little bit, I'm going to darken it just slightly over there, just slightly. And here, I'm just going to go along there. And there. Okay. That's fine. Now, I'm going to change washing the brush this time now. And I'm going to go for some white. And I'm going to use some liquid white. That's fine. And maybe a little bit of that dirty color into it, just to tone it down slightly, just the smallest bit into it. Tone it down. Still don't want it too bright. Now it's not pure white. And I'm going to go back up now, got to highlight some of this here, and I'm going to go and down and down into the dark. Now, Now I'm going to the bat, the bottom of that, I'm going to darken it. I'm going to grey that off there a little bit. And down here. There. There. Now I'm going to wash the brush. And back for the color again. 
And again, I'm going to highlight that. Every time I come off, I wipe the brush. Here. And there. Yeah. And here. No. It's okay for now. Going to catch this this wave and pull it over a little bit. And this one. A lot of it will be covered up, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Now I'm going to get some uh, a knife and some brown. That's the brown I mixed. It's uh, half a green, sap green, and half crimson. And I'll use that now. Gives you a nice brown. Right, so I get a roll of paint. There's the roll of paint on the knife. There's the roll of paint. Turn the roll of paint down. And here, creating all this would be a big rock crashing off. Big jagged rocks, right down there. And tell the wave to get back. Get back, Mr. Wave. And here, a smaller rock, smaller one, right down there. Come on now, Mr. Wave, get back. Go back for me, thank you. Thank you. Right down there. No. What we do now? I'm going to get all that all to sit down for me now. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to get a bit of a ruffle along here first. And uh, I'll do that by just pushing on the base of that. Push up. And here. And there. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the brush here and pull this down, straight down. A whole lot. Come on. Come on. Thank you. It's like I'm calling the dog at home. Come on down. It will do it if you talk nice to it. It'll come down. Come on, Mr. Rock. Come on, Mr. Rock. Come on now, Mr. Wave here. Here. All along. And you can go across that then very gently. Very gently. And then get your knife again and a little bit of uh, liquid white this time, I think. Yeah, liquid white. And just cut into it then as though you're cutting into a, a cake. Come over here and go into that. And ask the rocks to sit down. Sit down there now, Mr. Rock. Thank you. Thank you. Off to this rock, the big one. And then we'll put a lot more rocks inside them. There. Now, I think I put a small highlight. I don't want them too, too bright before I go any further. Even though there's highlights on them automatically, but I put a small highlight on. A bit of yellow ochre, a bit of white, and a bit of cyan. There. Thank you. Actually, I was forgetting it, but the rock reminded me. It says, excuse me, Mr. Corkman, you forgot to highlight me. So, I'm sorry, Mr. Rock, I'm sorry. So, there you are now. No, stop giving out to me. You're nearly as bad as don't direct to the program. Mr. Rock has given out to me. <laughs> He's... He's like a blue, I won't say it, since he heard I was coming back up to Dublin. Anyway, there you are now, that's, um, that's going to get that to sit down now. By just cutting in at the base, 
cutting at the base. But make sure when you're doing this, just make sure that the um, all these lines are horizontal. They're very, very important that you do that. Otherwise, you'll be all over the place. Because water takes its own level, and you can't have it swinging all over the place, you know. And that's the only reason. Now, I'm going to create another few rocks in around here. So I'm going to get the brown again. Down here, there's one. As they're coming now, they get a little bit shorter, okay? They lie down a little bit more. So tell the rock to sit down as well. But lie down there. There's another one. Another one there, lie down. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. And there. Now, we'll highlight that again. A little bit of white. A bit of yellow ochre. You'll notice I just say in little bits, you know, I don't, there's no hard and fast rules here. Now, I don't, I don't mix them properly either, they're kind of marbled. Now here, there's your highlight, and then pull it in the opposite direction. And again here, and then pull it again. Now, come on now, Mr. Roxy, down there. And you're now worried about there, the bottom of it. I can pull that down vertical strokes until it go down into a, sh a reflection down there for me. And again, the other side here. Put it on and then create that ledge. And when I was a kid, I used to love on the beach running along and jumping up on all those ledges, looking out. So now could I see any pirates out there? <laughs> a couple of pirates here in the studio at times. <laughs> Now, if I pull all them down, I'm going to have, I'd be made to walk the plank here if I don't uh, have a look at this clock. I think I'm okay. Okay. It'd make me walk the plank and I don't want that. No, no. Now here, put it straight down now. Catch it and straight down. Come on down, Mr. Rock. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Here again, come on, come on down, thank you, thank you. And then very gently, very gently go across it. Thank you very much, whisper to it. Come on, Mr. Canvas, thank you. And again, put a few water lines in that. A few water lines, they won't go astray. And here, none. That will make the, uh, by pulling in front of them, it makes them sit down. Okay. And then pull right in front of all that. Up here and there. And I'm just going to get a little bit of titanium white this time. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go right across all that. Hit and miss now, hit and miss. All the strokes now are horizontal. There's no missing here. I just want it to look wet here. So that they're all horizontal now. Now, what I'm going to do, um, I'll read one other email before the program will end here. Now, this, today's program ends. And um, I think I have time to do that. So I'm going to get my hands on some other email here and see, our letter, or whatever. There's so many people writing in now and praising us for the work we're doing and the people in the studios and everything like that. And I have to thank all those. This is a team effort now, it's just, just me. I'm just the guy in front of the camera. This is a whole team effort. We have a, a beautiful um, Christmas card here from, um, from County Kilkenny. And this is Happy Christmas from Eve and Elmer Ryan and Rose and Rebecca Kennedy. And it says here, we love to watch Irish paint magic when we paint at school. And we all say, talk to the canvas. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> okay. 
We've uh, asked Santa Claus for oil paints just like yours. And uh, because of your program, uh, we all love your painting. So thank you very much indeed to, um, to Neve and Elmer and Rose and Rebecca. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'm just going to maybe pick up another one here. Um, I have Dear David, I have really enjoyed the series of TG, on TG Cahar. That came from uh, Catherine Kelly. And I just want to thank you, Catherine, but just because I might say goodbye at the end of the series, that doesn't mean that the series is finished. And with that, I'm going to say to you all, Goramila Mahagut, Shlan Lat, and God bless you all, my friends.